Hey guys, my name is Nicole Zavala and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Table where I'm going to be telling you guys everything y'all need to know about plastic surgery, a little bit about myself and the aftercare that is super important when you get plastic surgery. What made me get plastic surgery was when throughout my years in high school, um, it was a really bad experience. I had a lot of people bully me. I was bullied back in high school. A lot of people bullied me. A lot of people made fun of me of the way I looked. My nose was messed up. My body was not that great, my face. I was just not happy with myself. And plus I was going through a lot of other personal stuff in my life. So what happened was I was like, okay, my dad told me one day, what do you want for your 18th birthday? And that was already graduating from high school. After all the bullying, after dealing with people calling me an ugly duckling and I'm so ugly. I never had a man when I was in, during high school. Nobody liked me in high school. So what happened was, I was 18 and my dad was like, what you want for your birthday, 18th birthday? Do you want a birthday party or do you want something special? And I was like, I want a pair of boobs. Cause I, had, I was flat chested, I had no boobs. So after that, I got my pair of boobs and that's how my journey started. I was 18, got my pair of boobs, 21, got my nose done with another set of new boobs. I wanted bigger, I wanted to go bigger. Then 23, got lipo, my first round of lipo. BBL, then I was like 24, like just every year I'm doing something different. 24, I got my other round of lipo. Then I hit 27, got another round of lipo, back to back. So it's like I've already gotten like three rounds of lipos, got my boobs done three times, my nose done, and now I just started messing with the fillers on my face about a year ago, so now I'm like obsessed with fillers. I've been doing fillers like every other month. And yeah, that's just my obsession about plastic surgery. And it's, and it's something that I want to continue to keep doing. Like, it makes me happy. And it's not because I feel like my self-esteem is on the floor. I feel ugly. It just makes me happy. Like, now I want to get my abs done. I want my boobs bigger now. Like, it's just every year is something different. Like, I want to just look different every year. When did I find out when that plastic surgery was useful for me was all the bullying and all everything I went through in my life when I was in high school and plus my personal situations, you know, from being in an abusive relationship, from being through so much in my life that I was like, you know what, I'm going to just change myself. I'm going to change myself. And yes, my self-esteem was very low back then in high school. I was like, I woke up one day and I was like, you know what, this is my opportunity that my dad could pay for my boobs and start from here, changed myself completely. Now my self-esteem is up there and now nobody can mess with me. <laughs> after I started doing all these plastic surgeries, my life kind of changed after that. I was living in Jersey, so obviously that's 30 minutes from New York. Um, I started being a bartender. I was a bartender since I was 18 years old since my first boobs ever that I first got. I started getting into the bartending scene. Bartending scene was very, it's very, very big in New York. I started bartending there, you know, started making a lot of money. And then that's how I started doing more surgeries and more surgeries. Started getting more popping. My social media grew. Everybody kind of knew me. I was in the industry a lot. Started doing a lot of music videos, photo shoots, started turning, you know, myself into a model. And then from there, it just changed. Everything just changed every year. I had, now I started getting booked. I started getting more followers on social media. I started getting booked. Now I'm getting booked in clubs, out of state. And then landed on a TV show. That was a cherry on top. That's what changed everything. <laughs> so after I got on the show, everything changed. Everything went skyrocket. I started getting booked more, now out of state. Like Dallas is booking me, Connecticut, Los Angeles, everywhere, all over the world is booking me. Um, I started getting more um, people trying to work with me for brands and being a, um, a brand ambassador for them. Started getting people to do more promos for me. I'm getting promos every day. People always want to send me stuff, clothes. I get clothes for free. I got my hair done for free. The only thing I don't get for free is my nails. Cause then, you know, they don't want to do my nails for free. Um, but everything else I get for free, my lashes for free. I get my fillers for free. That's like worth $3,000 a package to get everything I get done on my face. I get it for free. Obviously, you know, exchange of promos. Um, I literally get 95% of everything for free. So that really saves me a lot of, lot of money. Um, and, every, and after that, 
you know, obviously, I feel like guys be more groupies than girls because I see all the celebrities. I don't want to mention no names. All athletes, rappers in my DMs. I'm like, oh, you was not in my DMs before. What happened? But you know, you know how that goes. But other than that, everything has just been super, super positive, super great for me. And I just want to keep going, keep going and, you know, just blow up more than what it, what it is, what's going on right now.